Yo, I've been sticking to this. And by the way, I'm Terrell Hall of Fame, D-Line, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. And as, I, as I've been finishing up all standards, and, uh, and as I've told you before, focusing on uh, head structure a lot. Um, you know, a lot of you have asked me questions about the thing of the trust of blood and the terrier genes and this and that and the other. And um, I want to make this clear. Our goal is not to have a terrier head. But if any, if you speak with anybody, you can ask um, Marco Suarez, you can ask Pratt's, you can ask, uh, if you can get in touch with Jake Lipton, you can ask Jake, you know what I mean? Jay Hops, so all, all of the old breeders, Mike from Devil's Den, they will tell you is that a grand majority of all of the old uh, dogs, even though if you talked about the some of the older Gotti line dogs, uh, not just the edge dogs, but the dogs that come from the original stock, and even more prevalently, you talk to the Remy line people, they will tell you that the puppies generally with heads, generally, because you always have those few anomalies that come out with a little bit of a bullier head. But the head piece generally comes out with a more terrier look early. It just does. Um, when you know your blood, this is where the term pop comes from, you know, and it's generally every six months you'll, you'll get that pop. And the terrier head develops into what you want from the edge look, or maybe even some of the Gotti line looks, the, the Gotti line dogs that were cheekier and not with the more rounded heads, is that it develops with the cheeks. Uh, if you think Remy's head, it develops, the cheeks pop out, and then you start to notice this about, like I said, 12, 18, 24. It keeps on getting bigger. The head gets better and better and better. I've showed y'all Mandela's. It, you, a lot of y'all are, well, some people freaked out a little bit with, with Tommy's last picture. Wait till y'all see how he's developed now. The older he gets, he has more and more of the Remy t type of head. His head is popping out. He's still an adolescence because he's close to right around uh, 18 months, but his body is filled out more. He's, uh, you know, still pocket, you know, at, uh, I think just shy of 16 inches, but you know, he's like 83, 84 pounds now. And that's with me still trying to keep him a little leaner. And, but the head is just pop, pop. The cheeks are coming more and more. Uh, I got to get some time with all this running around to try to get pictures of all of my dogs. I just don't get pictures, but not to make this episode about Tommy, but it's, it's another example of, uh, of the blood and how the cheeks pop, how the head continues to pop. Even on my own yard, Odell's head is even bigger than it was now and more chiseled, more defined as he's popping. You know, you, you have to go through the process. A lot of people want the, bu the bully, 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 like they want puppies to be super bully. And we've also seen this thing of in our community to where, you know, the bulldog breeders, they, they keep trying to make fun of everybody with the, 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 oh, you got a terrier, you got a terrier. It's a terrier breed, you know what I mean? And y'all see that in the next video, I have to go in on those guys. But you have to understand, looking through the history of these dogs, that if you notice, you'll look at some of Marco's stuff. You'll look, you know, you look around to the breeders who've kept it real from the old and look at the puppy pictures then look at the adult pictures you see it's a development it's not something to where the dogs are just born super super bully all the time but it always comes around you rarely see people who have dogs that their dogs just stay with a, a total terrier look and it doesn't pop out that's not what real american bullies do real american bullies pop out and some explode and the ones that explode are the ones that everybody loves when they get the super super cheeky look but you, you know, you have to understand that this comes with the territory and trust the process, trust the blood. Your dog will develop the type of head that you're looking for, but you have to get past that point of saying, oh, his head is not this, his head is not that. It's always a development thing. You know, you, you, I mean, the more you talk to older breeders, they will, they will tell you that you just have to wait on it. You can't jump in and be like, oh, it's got to have this. And what you'll typically notice is that the puppies that start off with the super bulldog look, they look they don't look as good as when they get older. They look like bulldogs. They start to look like English or oldie bulldogs as they uh, as they grow up because their head structure, you know, doesn't get the cheekier vibe. It gets more of the creases and the lines, a little more wrinkles than you would like, uh, a little rounder head than you would like it doesn't it doesn't pop into that shape this is just the way that they go and and typically you'll find those breeders talking about what they have to clean up with their dogs so you know i mean um not to talk y'all ear off but you know just keep this in mind as, you, as the breed develops as you develop in the breed 
and you understand what you're looking for is that the the american bully head is a developmental head it, it comes in as a puppy and you know it may not be as broad as you wanted to originally and it sort of pops out pops out sometimes you would even notice with this with the chest and the body i've had so many dogs that you would never guess how wide they were going to be but this is where the trust of the blood and the trust of the genetics come in you have to be ready to do these things if you're not ready to be patient a lot of times you're going to run into dogs that fall apart on you as they as they come along one of the reasons why we lack great dogs in this community right now is because so many people have put an emphasis on just overdone, you know, uh, super bully puppies that when they become adults, those dogs disappear and fade away for good reasons because they've fallen apart. Most times they just don't they don't hold the look, you know, and or, or they don't live, you know, one or the other. And this is one of the reasons why we're seeing a dying off of the true American bully blood unfortunately but be patient trust the blood trust your pedigrees trust me if the parents look a certain way those puppies have a very high probability of looking that same way just you know put in the work put in the time it will work out for you until next time y'all much love god bless